Hello everyone, so I have never played Morrowind except for yesterday when I tested if this all thing works. I installed a couple of mods. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero... There is no event, thank you Streamlag. In the waning years of third era of Tamriel, prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind. Ignorant of the role he was about to play in that nation's history, thank you, Streamlag, once again for allowing me to finish reading. <laughs> they have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east. Bethesda loves tomorrow. prisons for some reason. Fear not, for I am watchful. Maybe they should make a you prison have simulator. Been Shaking. Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go with Murta because I go with Murta for everything. I did a small test of this yesterday just to see that everything like ran and that I could plan everything. Okay, guard, did you make a loud funk noise? Because I heard a loud funk it? noise and that felt really out of the game. I'm gonna increase the master volume and decrease the music. Because music is pretty loud, but the guard was pretty silent. What do you mean I can't save in the intro? Probably believe that I need a race to save or something like that. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. The key bindings, I'm gonna say, are extremely unique. This is where they want you. I changed the, the couple to the things that are a lot more comfortable. This one was set for joystick zero, and I don't even have a joystick. Let's go. Move it along. What is dinging? I'll figure it out eventually. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. That's okay. You don't need to know me. Okay, um... I have this uh, dumb idea. Hello! I have no idea what I'm doing, so, you know. It's gonna be fun. I have this very dumb idea that I tested yesterday. I'm gonna want to um, play an Argonian mage, which I'm pretty sure will not go well. <laughs> yeah, but that comes with the bonuses of complete immortality, you know, and... Um, I, I think that the issue is that she also kind of needed to screw her father before that. Also everyone in the castle. Okay, that face just looks like we're bored. That's a very long face. Why the long face? Well, because I'm Argonian, I'm sorry. I really wish that the cows, that you could recolor them. Because that would be pretty cool. Though, honestly, we were arrested and we're coming from prison. How are we even here with head the cows? Were we like, don't touch my horns, I'll wear whatever I want. Yeah, this this rope thingy seems suitable enough. Ah yes, at least you get to be a powerful vampire. Unlike us. Because Great. we are I'm gonna sure be a hundred percent immune Follow to all to disease. And they'll finish your release. I'm running two like full mod suites. One was just for like bug fixes and some quality of life things. I can't- what, meh! Do I need to have all my information to save the game? That's mean. And the other one was mostly just graphical improvements, including being able to run this game in widespread. Is widespread? Widespread. Head on in. What keeps on thinking? Jesus.
How many years until I figure out what things? Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. I have mucked about in this game. I've never played it seriously. I am severely doubting my capabilities of beating it. It's going to be a very long time, and it's going to be very interesting. Now, normal people, like, create their own class because that makes it easier to, like, determine what you're working with, especially if you have a build in mind. I am going to be just picking a class because I'm a total noob. I want something to do with... What is that sound? It was something to do with magic. I think pure mage will be okay. I mean... Battle mages get an axe. And the long blade. It's like their minor skills. But pure mages get a short blade, but they're also probably very squishy. Well, you kinda... You know level armor if you have any and that determines your squishiness so it's not like you're squishy by default sorcerer is just like really into those armors bro um Feeling that taking sorcerer is the safest. Hex a marksman. Oh, okay. Crossbows and short books. Okay. We're gonna take sorcerer because they're sort of in between. They have like a lot of melee shit as well. I think I'm gonna need that. I have played that game so many times. I can play it not with my eyes closed because I'm still pretty bad at it, but still. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you. Why were did I think that you were gonna tell me Merry Christmas? And what would that be? You know what? We are gonna take the apprentice. You can get more magicka with um, the Atronach. But you cannot regenerate magical while resting, and that one's a bitch. So let's not do that. Um, there are other things as well. What is that sound? It's gonna drive me insane. Am I wearing chains or something? Yeah, I scrolled through it. I think the fact that the protagonist is talking 24-7 is gonna drive us all insane. Or the fact that she comes with a preset name and preset sex. I don't think... What is that sound? I don't think that anyone's super happy about that. Maybe it's safer to be mage than the apprentice? But you know what? Let's go with the apprentice and then regret it later. <laughs> Weakness to magic of 50%. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. I love that, like, wild idea that you can just be born under the wrong star sign and suddenly you're, like, super weak to magic. Oh no, I hate that I was born today. I super combust if I touch a candle just so happens for people born on this specific day. Our health is so minuscule. Hey, we now have bars. Or rather, stats. And you open them with right mouse click. Now, that's one of the very wild systems here.
Yeah, I saw that too. I'm still gonna play through it. I have a feeling that it would be closer to a thing like... Hmm... Swan Song? As in, a standalone thing, its own thing, should be judged on its own. It should have never carried the name Bloodlines. The expectations are too high and they're not gonna live up to it. You're making it wrong. So, for release by Emperor Uriel Septim Seventh's decree to the district of Verandon fell in the province of Morrowind. I don't remember which of the Septims we encountered in Oblivion, nor how much older that one is. Something keeps on dinging. I hate that sound. It's gonna... Game. What is dinging? Why do I keep on hearing a thing? Am I going mad? Is that it? You cannot save your game right now! <laughs> Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. I will soon. Yeah, you kind of just select whatever class your preset character with a preset name comes with. I am the officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. What is the Imperial Legion, sir? The Legions hire qualified recruits of proven skill and character and provide training goods and services at discounts. The lower ranks are common troopers and officers, but the upper ranks include the orders of the Imperial Knights. Imperial. Imperial. Our civilization has brought peace and prosperity to all of Tamriel. We place our faith in hard work, education, and discipline. We prefer free trade and diplomacy, but are not ashamed to use force. Oh, you guys sound just swell. Well, we only had like 20 minutes of um, video, so I don't think that it's going to be like that. I'm pretty sure that that is Ready Magica. I forget what... One is Weapon, one is Magica. Um, let me just grab the short blade and equip it on myself. Okay, E is weapon, and I think R was magic. You, see, this is so weird! In normal in the game, you just click mouse buttons and you swing, but... No, you have to take it out, out of your pants to do that. And right-click is the menus, which is not too bad. I had to rebind um, jump key. Jump key was somewhere very, very weird. Um, this is my crouching. I feel like it does not change my height at all <laughs> like are you sure that we crouch down game how long are my legs do they not bend better i'm gonna steal your eggs The stars of Tamriel are divided into 13 constellations. Three of them are major constellations known as the Guardians. There is a warrior, the mage, and the thief. Each of the Guardians protects its three charges from the 13th constellation, the Serpent. When the sun rises near one of the constellations, it is of that constellation's season. Each constellation has a season of approximately one month. The serpent has no season, for it moves about in the heavens, usually threatening one of the other constellations. Oh, okay. Um, all of this information, it just really feels like it would have been important when I was making my character. <laughs> like... <laughs> so, um, before, right now? Like, right now feels the wrong time if you ask me. Um, but what do I know? I'm not gonna be carrying around bowls. I don't know if I want to fortify strength at any point. I'm just gonna yoink it. 
you know, in case that is ever useful. Okay, we're standing up again. Good for us. I'm gonna also yoink the bread. All right! Menu got! I mean, wait, map. Menu? Map. That is the local map. That is the world map. It's all in squares. Why not white? You know, the dead shrouded eyes? That's a pretty good one. It also looks really weird. <laughs> or pure black. Um, pure black and you do not have a visible eye also works. Oh, cool! I leveled up! Can't save in here. <laughs> I do not have... Spells yet. Interesting. Ah, the game wants me to have a free ring of healing. Well, I'm gonna, gonna take that. Now I have a magic menu. Probably that is why they wanted me to take a ring of healing. I'm probably never gonna use anything to do with healing simply because restoring magic is gonna be such a bummer that we're just gonna end up sleeping quite a lot. And during sleeping we'll probably also heal, but what do I know? Maybe I'll change my opinion later, maybe we even will have potions! Ah, we can do fire damage on touch. I am definitely going to be trying to use that because um, you need to train things. <laughs> With just this knife. Just this like starter little blade. As a mage. So, so what did you do? Well, I knifed people. <laughs> Hello? First. Let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I think I was here for 10 minutes. How long have we... Is this a time loop? Where am I? I'm Celia's Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. One day I will figure out what is dinging and I will make it stop and that day will not be today. I don't know what is dinging. I'll let it ding. It might be my memory. I have a lot more tabs open than I normally do, but I can't close them right now. <laughs> I am Celius Gravius, a knight errant of the Imperial Legion. So despite saying that his background is not important, you can still ask him about it. Morrowind. Yes, you are in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from em Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you're a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. Okay, I am gonna investigate duties in a second, I'm gonna see if, like, closing a couple of tabs help the dinging. I don't know how that would work, but we're about to witness it in action or not. We'll see. Come on, computer. We have a lot less tabs open now. You, you can do this. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Kassad's. Good luck with me and names. In the town of Balmora, go to the South Wall Horn Club. Corner Club? Okay, where it's not a club for corns. And ask for Caius Facades. 
They know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. What if I'm a renegade? I also have a letter for you. And a disbursal to your name. <laughs> I think that would be a very bad idea. Report to Caius Passats in Bulmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Some stone there can direct you to him. Bulmora? Bulmora is north of Sedanin. The road passes Pelagiad Village and Fort Pelagiad crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, then turns west across the Odai River and into Balmora. The South Wall Corner Club in the southeast Balmora on the east side of the river. For more detailed directions, talk to Ilone the Scout at Aril's Trade House here in Sidonin. What is with the dinging? But take my advice, you're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora, fast, cheap and safe. Cross the bridge and head east, can't miss it. A silt strider? Silt striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Warden Ver Fell. Jesus Christ, spell with normal letters? Pairs depend on distance to be traveled. Silt striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. But you don't hurt him. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissue. What? Silt striders travel between Aldron, Omora, Sedanin, Suran, Gnesis, 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 Malagmar, Margan, and North Landing near Vivek. Cool. <laughs> um, Uriel Seven, Septim the Seven. Yes, Uriel Septon is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorized your release from prison and your delivery here. It's very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence, sorcery, let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. The Empire? Yes, of course, this is the Empire. This is Wardenful District of the province of Morrowind, and Morrowind has been part of the Empire for over 400 years. The current Emperor is Uriel Septim, 24th of the Septim line. You haven't been in prison that long, have you? <laughs> Nothing wrong with your head, is there? The men said you were acting a little strange when they brought you from the ship. <laughs> My trade? Um... Okay, that, is, that asks about his trade, not about my trade? That would be very confusing. I am Knight Errant of the Order Ebon Hart. Ebon Hart or Ebon Kart? Ebon Hakart is what I can read. And the Imperial Emissary uh, attached to the Census and Excise Office here in Sidonin. You can make these like things bigger with mods to make reading easier, but this will be fine. Nothing should be dinging. Something is dinging. <laughs> Stop, bad please. Let's hear it. I can't even like sneak properly. Cause um look at my look at my sneak stance. <laughs> this is me sneaking. I'm I'm not entirely sure if it's more sneaking than just walking. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> nope, that's my dagger. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out Ariel's trade house on the left. You're on your own now, good luck. Um, the game does tell you when you're not supposed to kill some people, so that's nice. Uh, my orders are to go to the town of Bulmora in Wardenfell district and report to the man named Caius Kassads. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Bulmora at the corner club called South Wall. When I find Caius Kassads, I must give him ca give him a p p cabbage? <laughs> give him a package of documents and wait for further orders. I'm gonna throw in a save here, and we're gonna 
Is it you that's dinging? Let's, let's set you to off. You shouldn't be dinging. That's the thing. And, um... It should be fine, I think. If you're throwing me warnings, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need to know that I'm being warned right now. I, I meant to investigate the bark. I did not want to stab it. Ah, everybody is kind of living today, I see. I see. Excuse me. Yes, what do you want? If you're looking to get out of Seda Nin, I'll be happy to give you little advice. A little advice? New here? Take the Silt Strider to Vivek or Bomora. Fast and cheap. No trouble with wild animals, on smugglers and bandits and outlaws. Go see... Uh, Darvame Ellen over at the Strider something thinking still. A port over the bridge and cast along the water and tell her Vadunius not to send. What? Right, that's me. Uh, okay. Um, do you get specific discounts at the Silt Strider or what? What's the latest rumors like? My son was recently shipped up to Fort Frostmoth on the island of Solstheim. I don't know what he did to deserve that, but it couldn't have been good. The Altmar Aril runs uh, Aril's trade house. Jesus Christ, reading this is difficult. Um, I'm gonna switch off another tab. Yes, that would be Argonians for you. Is the chief agent at the census and excise offices. You know, the the worst thing is that I'm definitely not precious, so make it quick. I'll, I'll just stare at you then. I'm definitely not gonna be picking up every single side quest because I'm not gonna find them. Um Latest rumors? I've been told that the Empire has granted a new charter to do some mining on the island of Solstheim. Why is everyone talking about the island of Solsheim? I have a lot of things to do that are not related to any islands or Solsheims. Aw, that's a crab. Hello! Haven't seen your Argonian face here before. Would you like a little advice or are you looking for someone in particular? Oh, there is a trade house, and one of them is the chief agent. You look like you can take care of yourself. Then why don't you do something about those smugglers in Adam Mabsartus cave? It's right over there, near the Silt Strider port. Yet those guards, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on there. You have something to say to me? No, that was actually kind of useful. Now we know about a smuggling cave. We can go in a tent and can clear it. Like, nobody hired us to do that, and that's probably the cave. But, um, I bet you anything I'm gonna die horribly. <laughs> but it will be fun. We have fire touch and the small dagger. Um, which obviously means that we're definitely prepared, right? Like, that that's how this works? That is... That is the takeaway that I'm gonna take? Well, I also have water breathing, which is... Um, you have to activate it the same way that you would a spell, so it's not automatic. And, um, 
I bet you anything with a cave on land, it's gonna help me so much. Well, nobody can poison me, so there's that. I'm just... Argonians are just too cool for sick, I suppose. You just... You never are sick. That's not how it works. Lizards don't get ill. <laughs> okay, time to... <laughs> really badly touch somebody with fire. Hello, smuggling cave. You're doing the smuggles here. Okay. You inwa! Now you die! Ugh. Die, Victor! Okay, um, we are doing something. The tiny yellow bar at the bottom is, um... Now you die! Is there... It's their health. So, um, we did a thing, and their health went away. <laughs> so there is that. Uh, common shirt, pants don't really interest me. I uh, will take the key. Is that dagger any better than what I have? No. No, it's not. They gave me a better dagger than the friggin'... Whoever this was. Don't need a bucket, but that also okay. It is. A bu I thought it wasn't the bucket. I thought it was a bag. But if you say it's a bucket, I'm gonna trust you. May as well be a bucket. So um, we killed one dude. <laughs> There's probably more than one dude in a whole ass cave. So there's that. Hi. Because she has no time for you. Um, I think I'm freeing you, so make some time. Do you have the key to these bracers? Will you let me go free? What's Solsheim like? Let me just... The frozen island up to the north right sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might as well check for transformation, if transformation, transportation, and cool. Pretty sure that that is the um, how is it called DLC territory? You do not want to go there before like you you did things here. Yes, Badargo is free. You're a good friend of Badargo. Cool. Um, you can't really help me, unfortunately. You can go free as well. Now I am free. Thank you, Martha. This is an honor for me. You guys are even the same race as me. Of course you're gonna go free. This is an honor for me. Go! Be free! Also, just in case you cannot see anything in the cave, don't worry. Neither can I. It is really, really, really bloody dark in here. <laughs> I should actually probably use Engraved Ring of Healing, even if I will use up the charges when I do so. Die. Oh god! Somebody heard that. Don't throw fireballs at me, I'll throw fireballs at you! Just, just get stuck in there. Just, just stay there, like... Oh god. <laughs> uh, Anya. Anya. Well then. You all free, right? One day to you, friend. I did free all of you? Yes, good. I'm happy to know where we are and where we aren't. Um, there are enemies nearby. I bet it's that guy that chased me. So, um... How about we just, like, step out of the cave for a second? <laughs> Actually... Can he detect that I'm trying to heal myself all the way from over here? Because, my dude, please do not. Um. 
I know that my magic must smell tasty or something, but that is not how we do. Thank you, thankfully. Thank you. This item is cheap to use. Um, but it runs out of charges, so now I have used up my ring. I would need to recharge it if I wanted to do anything with it. And, um, as far as I remember, I don't actually have any, like, crystals to do that with. Because Quarmags are not crystals. In case, you know, anyone needed that. Um, specification. So now I'm gonna save. I have Fire Spell equipped, which was working fairly decently on that dude, except that we can fail to, like, cast it, and, um, if he hits us, we're in trouble. Um, that is not a question mark, that is definitely a statement. See? <laughs> yes, I would like to load it. Uh, right. All we need to do is to not get hit. This, the, like, that's that's how easy this is. We need to hit and not get hit, in particular. Um, I failed on both fronts. Hello! <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing great at Morrowind. I'm gonna... You know what? Let's do something dumb. This does not guarantee that it will work any better, but remember that thing where we picked up a thing that, like, improves... Um... My... My strength? By 20 points, so, um... Yeah, let's just... Let's try that. I'm coming on over to dagger you! No, that did not... Yeah, that, that, that's not... I just... I really need to not get hit. Um, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> if we get hit, it's bad. Um, how about we just... We, we take both of them and drink them at the same time. That will... I don't know what that will do. Um... Okay, the chat scrolls at the same time as my stats, so... Uh, mouse controls are great. <laughs> I need to see what my strength is at. And for that, I need to find the strength. Oh, here, it's 40. Um... It's now 60 and my intelligence is 30, so... Um... I should... I should proceed with my strategy of trying to stab a mage. He's definitely a lot better at this than I am. I, I wish they would just let me press quick. Quick load, it would be quicker. Excuse me! I don't know where he is! God damn it! <laughs> I'm just flailing wildly. There is another thing that I can do. Um, it's gonna be a bit weird. But it might work out. How about we summon an ancestral ghost before we start wailing on people, right? Um, the last time I did that, honestly, it was not very good, right? But... Oh shit! Um, I completely forgot we would have to run out of magicka eventually. So, um, I completely forgot that I'm not the only one that has limitations. Just, 
this might this might be okay. Let's charge, buddy. Prioritize my ghost. He's my tank. Did just just doing very badly at it. Did I trap you somewhere? No come with me. Like launch spells while doing so, but like come with me. Let's go places. It's gonna be fun, okay? Right? I'm gonna have so much fun. Over there. That's you. No. 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 You good? So clumsy. I think you're great, actually. You in I don't know what that means, even. You run out of magic, by the way, bro. Because I feel like you might have. I mean, why else are you waving a dagger at me? Did you fail to cast a spell a lot? Because I have a feeling that you failed to cast a spell a lot. It does not have very, very great things. Um, I will put this on. You can have my shirt and um, my pants. We have now switched identities. I'm cool with this. I think we're good now that I have your robes and you have my pants. Fantastic. Yep. <laughs> Glad that that can happen. Now, um, unfortunately, I'm nearly running out of health. The clearing this random ass cave that I found is going great. Uh, fantastic, even. <laughs> That's about as derpy as I expected it. Stop! What are you even? What are you doing? Your life's end is approaching. Um. Uh, yep. I think you called that correct. Were you just throwing nunchucks? It felt like you were throwing nunchucks. I don't know why. Ghost. I'll need you. Let's go, ghost! We have a lady to haunt, right here. Um, I don't consent you on, um, Killing my ghost, so have another. I have you. I don't know who you have, but I don't think that that's me. Stupid. Yes, you are. Stupid. I agree. Good job, ghost. Um Armor rating zero, then why are you wearing it? The heck is that? A probe? Ooh, locked it. Taking that one. You know what, just in case, I don't know what the probe is, but I'm gonna carry it around. I think I'm barefoot, that's probably not very decent, so. Okay, I cannot wear shoes. That makes absolute sense. 
That's why I'm barefoot. I'm gonna I'm gonna take your left bracer then. Well, that's not a dagger, so I don't want that. I'm good. In a very not good way. I'll take all of your moon sugar. And things that you use to make things. I'll put these to use later. They're all written- they're all told to, like, be common, but... It seems to me like they looked better than what I was wearing. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna take that one as shop fodder one day when I visit a sh store. We're okay now, Ancestor Ghost. We're fine. Ooh. I'm just gonna go in a save. Oh, okay! The, I had a key for this, so that's fine. I can water breathe. Now, mind you, I am definitely run out of running out of everything. Um, health. Magicka. <laughs> Still have some stamina. I think my, my head's above the water when I'm walking in here, anyway. Where is this cave? How long is this cave? Where does it go? Oh. Um... Okay, we might be able to still deal with a rat, maybe. Uh, um, this, this might end very badly. Or it might be okay, we'll see. Stop! Don't make me die from fall damage, rat. Ooh. Okay, this this is a deep cave. Like a proper deep cave. Can I rest yet? Yeah. Until healed, please. Yes! Look at us. Look at how healthy we are. Um so we don't have potions. Magica does not regenerate. Uh we're gonna be abusing the whole resting thing to all hell and beyond. Did I just... I think I made a circle. Yeah. I would like to find the exit now, because I think that I've done everything that I could in here. Oh, and another thing. Because I have DLC installed, sometimes when I'm resting, I have a chance to be attacked by, um... Assassins? I can't actually kill them, so it is okay. Like, if they attack us, we die. That's about... Yep, that's about as well as that's gonna go. Well, nobody gave us a quest officially, so we have nobody to talk to about doing this not quest. But we have Fear the Cave. And my dagger still has endurance, I think. I have coffee and cola. I, this is a very caffeinated choice of beverage. So, um, eventually today I would love to reach Mavmara, but I am not in a hurry in general, so... We have, like, Pelagiad and Pelagiad together, close by. Bomora's all the way over there. Um, 
Honestly, if we like encounter a couple of caves or something, that's that's top notch. It allows us to practice our destruction. I'm gonna assume we're gonna like we're gonna like need to be able to fight if we want to beat the game. So you know, it's just like a thing to do. Ooh, so Bomora is through Pelagiad. Interesting. Screw taking a Silt Strider there, we're gonna walk there. Where else are you gonna see badly rendered old mushrooms? Oh god. Um, let me stab you. <laughs> let me train my stabbing on- this is really not working. Um, This worm is very stab resistant. Go away, corpse. Wildlife does respawn in here quite a lot. Honestly, though, for a... What was it? A 2002 game? 2001, I think. This is very pretty. I know that they recreated this game in like Elder Scrolls Online and it looks kind of good in there as well but it's just it's such a calming world to explore when you're not constantly dying which can happen it, it also has so many exploits that people use that I will never figure out because I don't have a brain for that The good old you can abuse alchemy, where you create a thing that increases your skill by a percent and then you create more potions after like increasing your alchemy percent until you increase it to like 50, 100,000 and then you make like a potion of strength that has like strength points that don't even register on a chart anymore. Um, are you aggressive? Don't think you are. I remember you guys from Elder Scrolls Online. I was wondering where did... I mean, you don't see them in Oblivion and Skyrim. Ah, cool little lizards that you can ride. Much better than horses with their armor. And also, of course, I have absolutely no stamina right now because I have auto run on. Otherwise, we would be moving very slowly. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is this is the speed of walk. <laughs> this is what I look like. Ah, uh, those wonderful lizard legs going for a nice walk. Let's visit Pelagiad. I don't know if anyone's gonna be like, yeah, there's like quests for you to do and stuff in here, but it's on our way to Balmora, so why wouldn't we visit Pelagiad? Hello, Watch kind sir. Little secret. If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack him. Okay. A rumor says the Emperor has repealed the war tax. We heard nothing official here, but it's about the damn time. We haven't had a war in 10 years. <laughs> Little advice. Don't fight when you're tired. Don't try to cast spells when you're tired. You'll fail much more often when you're tired. That's why veterans always carry a couple of restore fatigue potions for an emergency. Okay, green bar important. Got it. I don't know what I want, honestly. Please don't ask me that question. You're gonna confuse my brain greatly. 
Well, taverns are always good, right? Excuse me, sirs. Do you know how alchemy works in this Speak, game? Traveler. Like, any of you have, like, a table or something for that? I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. You know, if you're an Argonian or a Khajiit, you save so much on footwear. You never need to buy shoes because nobody makes them for you. Food and beds are both at the same time. Haha, <laughs> your choice. Mmm. You don't like that I have moon sugar, I guess. If you're heading into the back country, always carry a couple of restore health, restore fatigue, cure disease, and cure blight potions. Will you? Well, I can't get sick, so I have the cure disease bit covered. Or at the very least, I can't be poisoned. Talk to everyone. Talk is cheap. Ask questions. You don't ask, you never learn. I'm a publican. I have food to buy and beds for lodgers. I also know the neighborhood and can share the local lore, or if you prefer, I can give you a little Morrowind lore. I'm also likely to have heard the latest rumors, as opposed to just rumors. I'm happy to share them with you in the spirit of fellowship. Okay, that's the war tasks thing. Worn out weapons and armor work poorly. Repair them yourself if you have some skill, or take them to the smith for the repair. All right. You guys did not tell me anything useful. Let's continue. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. I'll be happy to help you, stranger. I'm Samia. People are fairly friendly here in Pelagiad. We don't mind answering a few questions. Pelagia, the Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivec, Sidonine, Balmora, and points north. And then some veterans took their mustering out pay and built themselves some little farms here. And pretty soon there's a few shops and a trade house. It's a pleasant little village. If you didn't know better, you would think you were in Daggerfall or some other high rock town. Well, I was never in Daggerfall because that is a second game. That's like below what we're currently playing back in years i should definitely try that at some point it would be a very interesting experience if i can get it to run well because the older the game is the harder it is to run okay so there is a trader breton there is a smith another smith there's an imperial cult shrine which helps you re regen mana um magic but we can do that by resting, so that's fine. Eat, eat for the healer, so I'll secure potions. And there's a couple of trainers. And they say that the Thieves Guild has some people in Pelagiad, but why would I know anything about that? I don't know, you tell me. Um, the issue is with these games, is that, um... <laughs> Your ability to join places actually depends on, like, you know, your skills. So you can't be a mage that doesn't cast spells. I definitely don't have the right skills for the Thieves Guild. Sweet moon sugar. Um, yes, I have moon sugar on me, sweet moon sugar. If you would like me, I would sell it to you, but you're not allowing me to do that. Amasi is a monk and mind and spirit. Amasi is a student of the hidden mysteries of the unseen world and body. Amasi is a student of the ancient martial arts, the reign of sand style of home. Home? When Amnasi must defend herself, Amnasi prefers claw and clothes and wears no armor. Because Anasi does not have, Anasi cannot lose. No, Anasi does not train because you do not belong to, but Anasi must not say what you do not belong to, okay? No I just- I do not belong. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to be in Pelagi at long? You want to know where the services are? Imperial cult? 
Pelagius Imperial Cult Shrine is in Port Pelagia. There are three cures disease and poison the altar there. And the healer sells potions. Services? I already did. It's on YouTube. I did that a long time ago. It can't even be that long. Um, let me just like scroll through my own YouTube content like really quickly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just let me pretend that I'm a pig. It goes great if you ask me. Um, so that was Harry Potter. That's 2022. Yeah, I finished Skyrim on Sept October. Nope, nope, still Skyrim. Yeah, October 12th, 2022. That's only two years ago. Um, it takes me a very long time to complete games because I only stream like twice a week at most. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I already did that, though. Um, except without mods. But, honestly, I would need a complete Skyrim overhaul, which I find it a bit more, um, I don't know. Not fun to set up instead of, like, trying really old games like this one, because I haven't actually done that. Your, your thing! Goes down. The Thieves Guild is just like any other trade guild, an organization of craftsmen and professionals. Nilos, are you in the tr in the Thieves Guild by any chance? Little secret. Okay, you guys keep on going on about war tax. Don't think you guys will be use useful. What, Jakob? Me? Speak Ashland, not speak so good Old Elf, sorry? So, is Old Elf something that we're speaking right now? Looking for work? Not much around here. Better head to one of the towns uh, to the north. Balmor and Aldo. Or um, try the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. Or head to the big city, Vec, to the east. We're gonna, we're gonna join the Mages Guild. I mean, I am Majipi anyway. Why is the temple so upset about the uh, Nereverine prophecy? Crazy old gentlemen wandering around the Ashlands and staring at the sun, talking to themselves. Big deal. Lord Nerevar is coming back to save Morrow in about time, I say. Where was he when the Empire walked in here and took over? Nereverine prophecy? Nereverine. The Ashlanders have a prophecy that one day a reincarnation of the legendary hero Nerevar will unite the Dunmer against the invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. But the Tribunal Temple says this is false and profane superstition, and the Ordinators deal mercilessly with those who profess such beliefs. Dunmer? We are the dark-skinned, red-eyed, elven people of Morrowind. The Westerners call us Dark Elves, but we prefer to call ourselves Dunmer. I will go back to Vampire the Masquerade, probably, in late 2025. Because we're gonna be playing Bloodlines 2. So that's what's happening this Halloween. I don't know how we're gonna like Bloodlines 2, but we're definitely playing through it. And I exhausted the big mods for um, Bloodlines, so the next playthrough would either be what Vin is doing, which is a um, regular vanilla game, but you can't upgrade any abilities at all. Like... <laughs> The only skills that you take are the ones that you take at the tutorial when building a character because you can't leave them out, and that is it. Um, or we would need to find a mod that I haven't done yet, and the list shrinks. Yeah, it should release this year. Um, they did a gameplay trailer, nobody liked that, but we're still playing it. Ashlanders. 
Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Okay, um, great. We're never speaking again, mister. I am super bad at persuasion. I should never have tried that. It was all like, I just wanted to know something about Ashlanders. And they're like, we need to be friends. So then I completely fumbled all my social interactions. And now we're mortal enemies. Don't mind me. New around here, huh? I'm Lady... I'm Ladia Florugius. You're looking for someone in particular? A specific place? You're looking for some services? Angaril of Vocal Guard is the boss of Fort Pelagia. Nobody else important I can think of. Well, outside of like the innkeeper that we met. Specific place. Pelagia is a small place. We have no travel services, but walking is a good exercise, if you say so. Thinking of setting yourself up as a mercenary or questing hero, not much call for that around here. Rats and occasional bandit are our only problems. About 50% of Verifol's inhabitants are Dunmer. The other half are Redguard, Breton, Norn, Altmer, Dunmer... How can they be in the 50% and the other 50%? Bosmer, Imperial, Khajiit, Argonian, and Orc are roughly equal to proportion. So they're not... They're above 50%. That, that does not math. Uh, you all care about the warp tax so much. Go ahead, stranger. Also, the, one of the quality of life things... Is that um, when I look at things, I can see if it's owned. Go ahead, stranger. If it's permitted, or if I can just like Ugh, enter it. Disgusting. That allows me to figure out if I'm taking someone's stuff or not. What do you think you're doing here? Go away now. No. Okay. I suppose they don't particularly enjoy me breaking into their room. Um, that is understandable, but... <laughs> Khajiit has no words for you. Hurry this up, will you? Stop yelling at me. I'm leaving. Um, they said something about the boss of the fort. Which is probably inside the fort, which is probably like right there. You know, that sounds like an important person. Could probably talk with the armor. Okay, you actually will talk to me despite me having moon sugar. Okay, you don't buy moon sugar. That makes sense. But at least I can I can talk to you, so that's nice. Would you like some shoes? No? I assume it's only armor then, which makes sense considering that you are the armor smith. Still, I love giving my junk to people. Do you have any stabby stabs? Like Things that people use to stab other people with. It's not any better than what we have. Thank you for repairing my dagger. I needed that. Now, where did I put that? Who? Me? Where did you put what? And how do you think it was that bloated Imperial plutocrats got their charter to exploit the Caldera Ebony deposits and not a native great house or 
local colonists. Big fat tribes, I bribe, bribes, tribes, bribes. I tell you, and friends in high places. I never seen a successful adventurer who didn't carry a couple of divine intervention scrolls with him on a long expeditions. But you're seeing one right now. I have nothing. Two reasons. Emergency exit, and it lets you move a lot more loot than you can carry on foot. And faster goes without saying. <laughs> so what? Do you just approach shopkeepers, like, take out your junk and just put them in their hand? All smiling proudly? Daedra? You know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty. And the folks that worship them are even nastier. Nervine? It's the reincarnation of certain dark elven heroes supposed to come and drive the Empire out of Morrowind. Just some local superstition, but the temple says it's wicked and evil, and you'll be very sorry if you talk about it with priests and temple guard. Don't mention it to priests and temple guard, got it. Morrowind lore. Foul murder is punished by compensation, hard labor, or, or sometimes by a writ of assassination. So, you can, um, buy Go ahead, the allowance to kill people. So, like, if I wanted to murder someone and I had a writ of assassination, that's legal. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to pay a fine. I love these textures! I don't know why- I know that I'm like running a graphics mod, but how flat the grass is. Oh, there's something about really old games that are very close to my heart. It actually wasn't so when I was younger. Um, but when I go older, I'm like, look at this marvel of really ancient technology. I heard that important people just kind of sit around in here. Are you important? Say your needs. So careless, these creatures. I'm Shabrak Grabordberg. <laughs> people are fairly friendly here in Pelagia. We don't mind answering a couple of questions. Um, what do you have for sale? Well, you have like repair things. You don't take like. Yeah, fair enough. So I can't just give you my junk either, unfortunately. Guard? Guards keep the peace and chase down criminals. Each district has its own guards. Legion troopers form in Imperial districts, ordinators in Temple districts. Red around Hollow Halalu and Tilvani guards in their own Great House districts. Guards collect fines and compensation or drag you off to prison if you can't pay. Rumors? Promotions come quickly in the Legion if you don't screw up. And they also hand out some pretty choice armor when you get promoted. Advice? If you want to talk to Smith about his trade, talk to Gramusgub. <laughs> oh god. He's not a master smith, but he's well-spoken, friendly, and knows a lot about smithing in Morrowind. Just in Morrowind, though. Nowhere else. Little secret? Talk to everyone. Yeah. What about Morrowind lore? In case you didn't know, weapons and armor are less effective when they get worn out. That's not Morrowind lore, that's common sense! Is it only happening in Morrowind? Is that what it is, my trade? I'm a smith! I make, sell, and repair weapons and armor. Good for you! I'm looking for any, like, super important people in here. Okay? So, um... Well, I can't take bread because it is owned. I should not steal other people's bread. They might get a angry with me. Blessings of the Nine, Myrta. I'm Yigva, Ford Pelagiad's healer and an adept of the Imperial Cult. I barter for potions and other goods. And I can teach you a number of spells. All proceeds go to the benefit of the Imperial Cult. That's many worthwhile projects. Would you like to join the Imperial Cult? That sounds kind of cult-like. I don't know. Hmm. 
<laughs> Common sense, only in Morrowind. Damn it, all of you. You hate like to sugar. walk a fine line, don't you? I loved having it. Like, it seems like a good drug. I placed it on the floor, and I'm gonna come back for it and collect it, if you're fine with that. You don't like skooma either? How many things do you want me to put down on the floor? I wasn't trying to sell you skooma, my dude. I just... If I have my alcoholic drinks, okay, I'm allowed to just keep them. What do you do? That looks pretty cool, actually. Um, absorb health, I mean. I do want that one, and I do want this one. Um, I know that 10, absorb 10 health does not feel like a lot. But, um... It's better than nothing. I can sell that to you for 10. We don't want the necklace, unfortunately. don't want my common shoes. How dare you? Do you have, like, Restore Magicka? Oh, you don't. You bitch. Okay, that's not how we treat people that are just not selling things that we would like to get, okay? She's not a bitch, she's a decent human being. There we go. I'm happy that we have conducted our trade. I will forevermore just, like, dispose of my moon sugar if you would like me to do so. Um, Morrowind has this unfortunate thing where if I want to, like, like on something else, like on a different page. <laughs> um, my cursor will disappear, so I have to be careful about that. I mean, yeah, she was like, I, I won't trade with you because um, you have drugs in your pocket. That's not reasonable. Look, just because I'm carrying a little bit of cocaine does not mean that you have a right to deny me access to goods and services. I deserve goods and services as much as anyone else. Hello. Okay, I'm not a member. I don't know of what, but I am not a member. We Altmer are proud, wise, and beautiful. The Empire is built on the arts, crafts, and sciences of the High Elves. Our your blood protects us from disease and makes us superior spellcrafters. The punishment for criminals in Morrowind is typically fines and compensation. The fines are collected by the state. The compensation goes to the injured party or his skin. That may sound like a sweet deal. Kill an enemy, then pay the fine. But folks who have enough money to pay such fines are almost always house lords. And house force customs means the great house of the victim usually buys a writ with the Morag Pong to assassinate the murderer. So murderers pay, then get killed too. <laughs> okay. Looking for work? Go and join a guild, he says. And thinks about Daedra. In Telvani district, the few Telvani tower towns are just big villages with wizard towers. That's okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I 
Oh, you want to trade? Okay, you must show me what you have in your pockets. It's very important. So I can heal myself now. And I can also absorb health on touch. We will be leveling that. Because it does sound useful. I think it's also one of the few things that can't be reflected back on yourself. Um, that is actually another issue with this game. Like, you could cast really good spells. But the enemy can reflect those back on you. And if they reflect a big thing on you, you die. <laughs> Uh, presumably, you don't want that to happen. So we visited Pelagiad. We haven't learned anything interesting outside of the fact that we should probably go to Balmora, which we knew already. Um, my hopping power really needs work. Oh, look at you walking just like me. I don't know you. What do you want? You should know me. We're both the same race. At first, it seemed like all the fuss about the Nereverine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned about the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. They incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears and the tribes call him the incarnate. Then the temple gets out hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Paul, I do have some scuba in my pocket. Little advice. Levana Salarin at the temple in Molagmar is the most knowledgeable acrobat I know. I didn't say best acrobat. There are others who can leap higher and jump farther, but she can talk acrobat, talk better than any other acrobat I've ever met. Buy from merchants and traders who like you. You get better prices. Members of your own factions usually like you best. I do not think I have a faction. Most Dunmer worship the tribunal, the immortals who became gods in the distant past before Tri Tiber Septim. The temple takes care of the poor, provides health and education, and teaches family duty. Okay, the tribunal. I'm gonna assume that they're all Dunmer as well. Them gods. Where is that not I mean, they have massive feet. Must be very stable to walk on that. Elijah is a small place. We know that. Know that. Know about Neverine. She does what she needs doing. About 50% of Varenville's inhabitants are Dunmer, but also more than 50% are Dunmer. Okay. Pelagiad is a very worthless place. I assume unless you know how to, like, get into the Thieves' Guild or something. <laughs> In that case, Pelagiad is probably a bit less worthless. Well, this is a path. I assume if we walk it for long enough, we might end up in Balmora. It kind of looks Balmora-like as a direction, you know? I remember I once walked this path and just saw a mage fall from the sky. I don't know what happened. Okay, so the path kind of turns here. <laughs> uh, just having a very long walk. Let's let's switch to running. I love the animations. Balmora is that way. I have listened to the soundtrack of Lorrowind so many times. Unfortunately, it's only like an hour long. And then it loops. Uh, to be fair, Oblivion's similar. I think it's like 20 minutes longer for Oblivion, but that's about it. 
And it's very recognizable as Jeremy's soul. At least that's who I believe it is. Oh, another cave. Is this cave gonna be aggressive or is this cave gonna be friendly? It will probably very be very cavey. Yep, it's definitely cavey. Well, we just received our answer. That doesn't sound very um friendly. I don't know about you, but that definitely does not sound very friendly. I want to absorb your health. Ooh, this works well. Provided that the spell doesn't fail. Look at me drain you. Like a true vampire. That's a short sword, I don't care about that. Why is everyone in caves so aggressive? Aggressively friendly cave. Like, watch that guy attack me the moment I go down as well. Hello? Run while you still can, child. Oh, God. Um. Ah. Uh. uh. I would run, but I don't, like, then I don't get to clear the cave, so, um, can you... Give in. You're dead already. Let me just try the good old hitbox um, dancing. Ow. That did not work out. Uh, if you're too far away, he can't hit you. Like, that's... Now this is fighting. Should be a very obvious thing. Um... Ah uh, yes, that's the, definitely the best cave of all caves. Just, just the cave of puppies. You're bested. I did not collide with him, but he did collide with me. I think he has longer reach than I do. Sir, have a ghost. Come here. Come on. You're gonna... You're gonna fight a ghost with that. Um... Right, so if I get near, he just like... He says nah to the ghost and um... That's like... That is an issue. Should have picked an easier opponent. You're just gonna fight that ghost until you die? It might take forever, but I ain't risking it. I'm just gonna resummon my ancestral ghost whenever I feel I could do. If I remember, um, you need specific weapons to fight ghosts. He doesn't seem to have it. Hmm. Let's just, let's try. Let's, let's try to throw in a one self here, right? Give it. Ah! Dead already. <laughs> <laughs> right, my ghost ended. An easier opponent. Ow. Don't do that. Don't do the bang, please. Ah! 
Get damaged by the ghost like a good boy. Okay? I mean, they don't even spare a moment to talk to me. They just want to hit me the moment I get close. See? Not very friendly. <laughs> Just let's not take a face full of whatever he's offering. I'm gonna throw in another save because we did deal damage to him. And another save because once again we did deal damage to him. You will die where you stand. My ghost even staggered him once, so that's awesome. I'm just gonna quickly resummon my ghost friend here. So that he can continue doing them damages. I don't think that he's doing that good now. Not that we're doing very good. You're growing weak. <laughs> I mean, I, I think not doing very good is an understatement in here. We still had enough mana for a cast. We might have enough for another cast. He might die. It's a very good ghost. I don't have enough for Firebite. Righteousness is um, less expensive. Do I have hell? I mean, I don't, I don't know, wait, okay, I do have Marksman as my minor skill, that's not the worst idea ever. Mm. But look, I also have a blade and he has like 1 HP now. You died! I did not! Ooh. Damage fatigue free to I'm taking that. Taking your gold, all of it. I think I and use medium armor. I don't know if I want to. That is a lot of weight. But that's also pretty pricey, so at the very least I'm taking it with me. I'm also gonna take his swingity swooty. I think that's everybody who was ever in this cave. Well, like, two people, and they decided to be very... ...aggressive. Ooh! I can open a chest with that. What even? Oh, soul crap. It's like, gem feeder?! I might sell that because it's a potion that looks pretty bad. I'm gonna take mace because that's great if I just need to stab somebody.
You know when things say cloth sack, I just assume it's a sack from for cloth? But no, it's a sack made out of cloth. Uh... Yay! It had nothing. Cool. So that's how you use a lockpick. Got it. I mean, at the very least, he would have his own battle axe. Yay! So I still have my trusty daggy. And I can do spellsies. Drain health works very well. It doesn't work all that well if anyone hits me. Um... I have a tiny- a couple of items that I can use to sell and make at least some gold. I do feel like I'm gonna need that, so... Um... One day I'm gonna figure out how alchemy works, so there's that. That day may not be today. I'll see. <laughs> we are steadily making progress towards Balmora and just wiping out any cave life in bit Whoa! A random person just standing around. That seems like a great victim for a conversation! Is there something I can do for you? Why are you here? Begging your pardon? Have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Bandit nearby? Yeah, I was walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly a bandit jumped me from behind. It was a dark elf. A strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way. Although he did take my jewels, he was quite gentle and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. So, um, did he take your jewels or did you pay for the conversation in jewels? It does kind of sound like you're the type of desperate lonely sort. I, I have some cookies. You know, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah! The thing that you would push up. I did quite enjoy it. Apparently Morrowind is just equip a lockpick and spam click at the chest. Jewels? What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name, that, a name that will stay on my lips for all eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you help me for the sake of love? Okay. I'll try and find you a bandit. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north. So I imagine he might be found in Pelagia. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me. As a token of my love, I'm certain he will want to find me again. Okay. I promise we'll get to Balmora. But for now, let's walk back to Bellagia to look for Mr. Nalos. You know, I bet you anything. What happened was, um, and he does that to like every woman. Like, he talks his teeth out. And they're like, oh my god, he's so charming and cool! And then they just give him over his the stuff, and that's good. Yes, 
I'd like literally my only goal today is to get to Balmora. I decided to take it slow because I knew that I'm gonna meander a lot. I know that I'm gonna like stop at caves and I'm gonna try and kill everything just so that I can like level up a bit and get some loot and stuff and figure out how well I do at combat. So <laughs> it's gonna be a very slow game. You don't look like Nalos. When I mouse over you, I can see your name, so... No Nalos lives in here. No Nalos lives in here. You see, it's very convenient, because we can just check. Make it quick, Outlander. Actually... Can't ask you, goddammit. It's not illegal to look for a guy named Nilos in Pelagiad, is it? That's closer to Nilos, but it's not Nilos. That's not even close. It doesn't even start with an N. Go ahead. Nothing from you, apparently. <clears throat> Do you need some cold medicine? Mm. I might want to visit the trader. Go ahead, stranger. Um, where is the tavern? Is it in here? I'm not gonna sell her glove. and atheists say. What would be the offer that you would accept? I'm, I'm, I am now aware that I'm pressing the wrong button. You took it for 60, that will do. I just would like to have some gold, and I don't like carrying it around me. That is not an inn. That is an inn. Go ahead. It's not you. Not you. I can help it is will, you. Don't take too much time. I'm Nellis. What do you want? Muriel's glove. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She's beautiful, though, and seemed sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. 
Tell her you have a note from Nelos. I must see her again. I won't forget this, my friend. Ooh. Okay. Quickly, Outlander. I hope that I she hasn't started. just died. Well, I came all the way over here because, like... Go ahead. Please let me out. And just standing on the road isn't, like, the safest thing to do in Morrowind. Yep, we want to be heading in, like, roughly that direction. And it does help to know his race and how well he is dressed, because you can tell. And character textures aren't that bad. Mm, okay. Can you legally murder people in Florida yet? You know, one day my character is gonna wear really pretty robes. I'll make sure of it. Hey, is that an acrobatic? Good for me. Eventually, I'll get a level up. I wonder how does that work? Look at us doing a whole ass quest. Yes. What could you make? Give an example. husband came in to offer me well food. Met. I was like, hungry, and I was like, yes! Always. Um, note from Nelos. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful! Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend Barnard Eral in Telbrenora. Where in the heck is that? Um... He's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. If I ever find Tel Brunora, I'll try and remember that. You have fun. I wish I could steal your clothing. They look like they would fit me a lot better than this robe does. Um, if I talk really sweetly to you, could you just like give that to me? That would be very nice. Okay. <laughs> the hopping animation is definitely something with legs that big. Oh, there's another cave in here. Are you gonna be my first friendly cave? That is the question. Okay, the answer is no. Now you die. Why are all of you so angry all the time? What did I do?
I don't really want anything of you. Well, I mean, outside of entering your illegal minds. I don't know who am I gonna eventually sell all my jewelry to, but we'll see. This honestly feels like a much easier cave than the previous cave. Oh, that would be so nice. Where can I find the tea cave? And biscuits? Like, people are like, oh, how nice of you to come by. Would you like to drink with us? I am gonna take the rat meat. One day, I'll figure out how alchemy works, and then I will be glad to have all the materials. I'm not threatening you. you I have you. Okay, I don't think There's that you no care. Escape. Don't wave me. I don't actually understand why you guys are attempting to fight me when you have so little HP. Um, you good there? You definitely should not fight through doors. That is not a very good idea. Ends pretty poorly, if you ask me. A fat loot? What? Don't know what that is, but it's mine now. That is not very expensive. Eh, I'll leave it. Hmm. It is trapped, and that's not very good. I was supposed to, you know, thin melodies. I'm about to break my lockpick, aren't I? Yep. Um, did I save in here? I hope I did. Yep, I did. Good. I do have a scroll of unhinging. My question is, how do I use this? Oh, it's here. Okay, good. Fair enough. I found the menu. Um... Oh, okay. They're books. Um, they're decently valuable. I'm gonna take this. None of that skinny music in my house. First ones were brothers, Anu and Padome. They came into the void and time began. As Anu and Padome wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness created near. Both Anno and Padone were amazed and delighted with her appearance, and she loved Anno and Padome re retreated from them in bitterness. Aw, oh, she only loved one of the two brothers, no threesome. Nir became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padome returned, professing his love for Nir. 
She told him that she loved only Anu and Padomai beat her in rage. <laughs> That's a very normal way to react. Anu retreated, fought Padomai and cast him outside time. Nur gave birth to creation but died from her injury soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padomai was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds in their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padomai again. The long and furious battle ended with Anu. Um, I accidentally closed the book. The victor. He cast aside the body of his brother, who believed was dead, and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the Twelve Worlds into one, Nern, the world of Timriel. As he was doing so, Padomai struck him through the chest with one last blow. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time forever. The blood of Padomai became Daedra, the blood of Anu became the stars. The mingled blood of both became the Aedra, hence their capacity for good and evil and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the Twelve Worlds of Creation were the Elf Nofei and Hiss. The Elf Nofei were the ancestors of Mer and Men, the Hiss and the trees of Orgonia. Nern originally was all land with interspersed seas but no oceans. A large fragment of Elf Nofe world landed on Nern relatively intact, and Elf Nofe living there were the ancestors of Mer. These Elf Nofe fortified their borders from the chaos outside, hid their pocket of realm, and attempted to live as before. Other elf Nofe arrived on Hearn, scattered amid the confused jumble of the sc shattered worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering elf Nofe found the hidden land of old elf Nofe and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living amid the splendor of ages past. The wandering elf Nofe expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but the old elf Nofe looked on them as degenerates, fallen from their former glory. For whatever reason, war broke out and raged across the whole of Nern. The old elf Nofe retreated their ancient power and knowledge, but the wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nern. The war reshaped the face of Nern, sinking much of the land beneath new oceans and leaving the lands as we all know them now. Tamriel Akavir at Mora and Yokuda. The old Elf Nofe realm, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the Wanderers were left divided on the other three continents. You know, I heard Akavir and Atmora at least mentioned. I never hear about Yokuda. Over many years, the Elf Nofe of Tamriel became Mer, Elves, the Dwemer, the Deep Ones, sometimes called Dwarves, the Chimmer, the Changed Ones, who later became the Dunmer. The Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, or the Dark Elves, the Bosmer, Green or Forest Ones, or the world Wolf Elves, the Altmer, the Elder or High Ones, the High Elves. On the other continents, the Wandering Elf Nofe became the Men, the Norns of Admora and the Red Guards of Yakuda, and the Saisi of Akavir. The Hist were bystanders in the Elf Nofe War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become the Black Marsh in Tamriel, but most of the realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, men returned to Tamriel. The Norns, the Nords were the first colonizing the northern coast of Tamriel before recorded history, led by the legendary Yixgrimor. The 13th of his line, King Harold, was the first to appear in written history, and so the myth mythic era ended. That is not a worse creation stories than ones that we have. The Book of Dawn and G Dusk? The Book of Dawn and Dusk is collections of saying and aphorisms attributed variously to the tribunals and to their saints and servants. 
Many of these sayings have become common cliches of everyday life in Morrowind, but the following selection of slogans will illustrate many of the simplest notions of the Tribunal Faithful. Speak none but good of the gods. We can have no opinions about truth. <laughs> Rumors flow from the House of Troubles. Count only the happy hours. No child has a sinner's heart. Let faith be your only law. Fear of the fool is the beginning of wisdom. I'll, I'll see thee in every hour. Walk always in the presence of your lords. Comfort is given, justice is taken. Learn by serving. I accidentally closed the book again. God damn it, I want the next button to be here. I don't know where the close buttons should be. Don't ask me that. From the heart, the light. From the head, the law. Blessed on CV, mercy, mastery, mystery. Forge a keen faith in the crucible of suffering. Engrave upon thy eye the image of injustice. Death does not diminish. The ghost gilds with glory. So, die gloriously? <laughs> Faith conquers all, let us yield to faith. Better to suffer a wrong than to do one. The heavens are in their glory, applaud. Folly secures its power to harm. Though forbidden to some, not to you. What? Excuse me? Is that just like a... If that's just a regular saying, that's a, that's a bit weird. That just sounds like you're barely lawless. Oh, how rarely wisdom rules our hearts. Blessed are we who serve Amsivi. Free mouth, sing mercy, mastery, mystery. Gather no seed in the fields of hell. Why? Does it give you bad yield or something? The trice sealed house withstands the storm, so I have three locks, otherwise you're just doomed when a hurricane comes. By breath and blood protect us all. Can ghosts or justice change with time? Question mark? Are you asking me? Consider your end, mortal. That's just a saying that you say at random. Um, interesting. Accept grace without limits. Enter the rhapsody of the god poet. Kneel before the teacher's chair. Three hands, three hearts, three eyes. Keep no secret from your judge's skill. This makes me think about Argonians because they're scaly and... I think that's not the kind of scale that you mean. Forge darkness into light. Refuse neither brother nor ghost. Bless Tom CV through birth life ghost. From glowing ashes the poet's wrath shall shine. Are you okay? Are you all okay? If Uwek is for us, who can stand against us? Probably also Vivek. Fate monstrous and empty, the whirling wheel of evil. How black my heart roasting fiercely? Question mark. Well, today we are learning where it all came from. Thank you all the writers of this game that put in incredible amount of work into friggin um into writing books and so did like in every other Elder Scrolls game as well. For some reason they're like, look, if we're gonna have books, we need a hundreds of like texts to actually be written about them as if this is like a necessity. This is a very long book. I don't want to read something that long. It's just that I'm gonna sell these later. Um, that one I already read. So I just want to see, you know, if they say anything fun. That they draw a powerful ancestor spirits similar in form and substance to the tribunal, blessed be their holy names, but weaker in power and more arbitrary and removed from affairs of mortals. In all times, the Chimmer worshipped the Daedra as gods, but they did not deserve this veneration, for the Daedra harmed their worshippers as often as helped them. The advent of the tribunal, blessed be their holy names, <laughs> changed this unhappy state. By apostiosis, the tribunal, blessed be their holy names, became the protectors and high ancestor spirits of the Dunmer, and bade the Daedra to give proper veneration and obedience. The three god, uh, the three good Daedra, Boethia, Azura, and Melfala, recognized the divinity of the Trun ancestors. The rebel Daedra, Molag Bal, Malakath, Shiogorov, and Maroon's Dagon refused to swear fealty to the tribunal. Shiogorath is the insane. I don't. 
You literally approached the insane one and was all like, could you ally with... What did you think was gonna happen? And their worshippers were cast out. This rebel Daedra thus became the four corners of the House of Troubles, and they continued to plague our tranquility and tempt the unwary into heresy and dark worship. The priests of the temple remain ever vigilant for signs of the adversary's return, sometimes aided by the loyal three good Daedra who are familiar with the wiles of the rebellious kin. The good Daedra are known to the temple as the anticip anticipate antici anticipations since their early ancestral anticipations of the loving patronage of the tribunal. The anticipations are Daedra lords Boethe, Methala, and Azura. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you already told me that. Um, where? I mean, in my inventory I have four because I just found them. Boethe is the anticipation of Almalexia, but male to her female. Boethia was the ancestor who illuminated the elves ages ago before the mythic era. He told them the truth of Lorcan's test and defeated Oriel's champion, Trinimac. Boethia ate Trinimac and voided him. <laughs> you are now void, I consume you. The followers of Boethia and Trinimac rubbed the soil of Trinimac upon themselves and changed their skins. Mephala is the anticipation of Vivek but manifold and androgynous. Mephala taught the Chimmer to evade their enemies or kill them with secret murder. Secret murder? The Chimmer were few in those days and threatened on all sides. Mephala taught the Chimmer to build houses. Later, Mephala created the Morak Tong. Azura is the anticipation of Sotha Sil, but female to his male. Azura was the ancestor who taught the Chimmer how to be different from the Altmer. Her teachings are sometimes attributed to Boethia. In the stories, Azura is often encountered more as a communal progenitor of the race as a whole rather than an individual ancestor. She is associated with Dusk and Dawn and sometimes called the Mother Soul. Azura's star, also called Twilight Star, appears briefly at dawn and dusk glow on the horizon Below the constellation of the Steed, Azora is associated with mystery and magic, faith and prophecy. Okay, that's enough lore for one day. Um, I will be actually- this is gonna be a very slow playthrough. Just like a quick warning. Because... Is this where it came from? No. Okay. Um... Mostly because I want to properly explore this game, and it is an older game. So it feels fitting. I'm kind of regretting not just punching you to death right now, because my dude, you did not even a weapon have. True! You know, it's a good chance. Just take it. I mean, 50-50. For becoming a cheese wheel or the most powerful magician. Just, you know, 50-50 is not a bad chance, is it? Now you die. Who are you? Why will I die now? Um, lady, you're currently standing on fire. Die, Fetcher! This is the end of you, sweet! Uh, have fun cooking! I have a feeling that you all should yell at me a bit less. I will actually wear, like, proper gloves, thank you.
You know, this is the nice thing about something like this. So that is like the end of this dungeon. But the nice thing about an older game is that you should kind of go slower so that you 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 make sure that you're not like under leveled or anything and so that you understand where you are because a lot less things are like voice acted and uh, this is quite a new experience for me something like this um, I'm sure it's gonna be weirder if I go even older like Daggerfall but Playing through Daggerfall on Arena would be a would definitely be a goal for at least one point. Because it just kind of feels like the kind of things that you should, you know, experience at some point, especially if you like the game series. Yeah, like um they won't actually tell me where quests are. This can be Barely. Oh god, once a no bad. Um ex excuse me. I don't have magic for you right now, dude. I had a little bit of magic remaining. Oh, thank God! Yeah, um, assassins of Morrowind, they happen. Ah. Okay. Um. These are not very heavy, but they're definitely very expensive. Is that better than what I had? Not really, but like, it definitely looks cooler, so I'm taking it with me. Now, Mr. has some very expensive armor. I don't actually want to wear it. It's not that I'm like... Um, opposed to armor, it's just not the kind of armor that I would like to wear. I knew that this was gonna happen eventually, like I will just have a random assassin jump me. Um, God damn it, brat! Go away! Just have my new silver dagger. Yeah, I don't want to wear Assassin Brotherhood outfit, you know. I'm doing pretty well on this game levels thing. I don't actually know when it's time to level up. Um, I should probably try an in when I get to Balmora, just to make sure that I don't have level up stack <laughs> it honestly would have been the last time when i was jumped by an assassin i outright died so i feel pretty proud oh nice red sky this is so impressive like i don't know what it is i think it's atmosphere um not like the sky atmosphere but just atmosphere like the whole game thing <laughs> it's another thing that i saw people say about bloodlines 2 gameplay trailer um bloodlines 1 had this very bizarre like one thing that it scored on was atmosphere the music the environments it had this certain something like, graphics fidelity did not matter at all because of that. 
Okay, um... Bomora probably that way. Did I walk past it? Let me just... Yep, let me just check with the signs. Bomora that way. Um... The newer feels like it might just be a bit... Meh, meh. Meh. On the atmosphere bit. I will stab you! Don't wanna waste magic on rats. But also, um... Um, it will take forever to regenerate my stamina. I will waste magic on rats, I guess. It's... I don't know why, but um... It feels like atmosphere is rarer in new games. But it doesn't mean that, um, it's devoid of it. Uh, like, the third DSX, from what I remember of it, I really should just start wasting magic on small creatures. It had a very weird, um, filter. It was golden. For some really bizarre reason. But it worked. It honestly worked. It, it looked good. It had the certain kind of oomph. A feel to a city. I've seen it in some Call of Cthulhu games as well. Like. Tend to be foggy. Or moody. Or you know. It's just. It gives the game a certain something. Um, I think cyberpunk is fairly recognizable. I, I wouldn't really say that Oblivion or Skyrim feel very atmospheric. It's... It's more that your design of the environment manages to convey uniformity and mood that also kind of feels unique and memorable in your own setting. Yeah, I mean, precisely. Redemption lacked it, if you ask me. So, it's not that it's also like in every old game, but you need that certain something. And not all games have it. And I don't think the, the newest Bloodlines will have it. It will just feel like it ain't it. And I can't narrow it down further. I tried walking this way and I feel like it's going completely the wrong direction. So I'm gonna try walking this way instead. Um, <laughs> the goal of today is to reach Balmora. <laughs> um, it's just a three hour stream to reach Balmora, don't mind me. I'm gonna be like the old lady that um, immerses herself in Skyrim, like, really a lot, where she walks everywhere. And doesn't even, like, run, but, like, actually walk places. Um, she doesn't fast travel, doesn't teleport. So she made a very lengthy series because she would also try to act as, like, answer as the character, react like the character would. It's a lot of immersion. Okay, Balmora that way. <laughs> I should have seen the sign. It's on me. Also, I'm pretty sure if I was running this game as it is, we wouldn't be able to see as far as we can. Uh, I, I Once again, I put out a couple over overhauls. The first one was like a whole bunch of bug fixes and scripting errors, and I think it pings me from time to time. I think that's what that sound is. Um, the second was all graphics. And 
I primarily needed it to be able to have the game in widescreen and to also be able to fix the FOV. Um, because we're currently at the FOV 95, which is very comfortable on a 1080p screen. Um, normal FOV is something like 90 or less. Which is not very comfortable on a widescreen. I would normally visit this fort. Like, you know, forts are cool and all. But also, I feel like we should actually get to Balmora today. So I'm just gonna continue following the, the path. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Don't mind me. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah. Draw distance. <laughs> because of the overhaul, he also like generate textures for things that are like far away and place them into the environment. So we have actually longer draw distance than this game normally would have. So um, you get a more pleasant view. Um, I'm not getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm not feeling sick. Um, this is actually quite comfortable to play despite all graphics. So I suppose Overhaul did its job. Yeah! That reminds me. Um, Resident Evil 4, original one. Very atmospheric. A lot of Silent Hills are atmospheric as all hell. No pun intended. Oh, I still I should actually climb up and just stare at it. Don't want to travel anywhere, but I do want to stare at it. I agree, it is very accurate. It, it is very hard to actually define um, how you figure out what is and isn't atmospheric. It just... Either a game feels right or it doesn't. Oh, I see. Well, like, misses is missing a chunk there. Ugh. And they control them through their exposed organs in the chunk. Fair enough. Kinda gross. So now that we are in Balmora, um, we would like a trader. Preferably one that doesn't yell at me for having moon sugar in my inventory. Um, we also want to talk, like, ask about the dude. We might want to, like, find the mages guild. Because I would kind of like to join it. And that's how we're going to proceed through these sessions. Like, we're going to figure out one thing to do and we're going to do it. Um, also, I'm only streaming once this week. Because... Um, I have a lot of things going on, and I'm slightly overwhelmed by it. Um, so it's it's messing with my stress levels. Hence why I'm taking it easy on all the other things to just unload things off myself. Next week I'll probably stream like twice. Um, I, I was gonna play through a porny game, and I will still do it for a friend. Because they made it, I helped them test it, they finally released it. Hopefully this week I'm gonna be finished with my tabletop RPG. And we do want a season 2. Everyone's like super happy with the group and everything. But the GM is gonna be busy for like the next 3 months. So I'll have like an extra day to stream if I want. So I might raise how many streams I do. And you know, if we're chilling in Morrowind. For the time being. And if we're taking it slow, it might not be the worst idea. So your name is Murta, and you're new here in Belmora? Well, my name is Dralasa Nithrion, and I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else on my mind right now. And if I start to bore you about Morrowind lore, just let me know. Morrowind lore. House Redron is an aristocratic house of noble warriors. They're strong supporters of Tribunal Temple. How can you bore me if you only tell me one sentence? God damn you! Um, I'm just gonna predispose of both moon sugar and skooma. So that you don't yell at me, lady. I don't know why you guys are so bitchy about this. 
Aha, you have shirts and clothes. So... You would give me 38 for the one one. You know what? I'll take it. I'll give you the cheaper stuff. Expensive ring and a necklace can go with it. That, that might be a bit too pricey now. You do have quite a lot of arrows. I imagine if I wanted to get that, I should also get a bow. Um, so you know what, let's get the bow. Let's get all the arrows. I'm gonna give you one of the greaves as well. Um... It's just that we want to have a thing to do if we don't want to do thing up close. And, um, <laughs> and um, if we still want to deal damage and we don't have magicka. So it's going to be the fallback plan, right? I don't know, the full thing? That would be nice. I am gonna take expensive shirt and pants because it, it feels like it's gonna be a better deal than wearing the common robe that I have right now. Um I have bottles. It would be great if you had like... Ooh, Mortal and Pestle! I think that's to do with alchemy. I'm gonna just grab the slow fall. Sounds like fairly niche. But you never know. You might have a use for it. I'll give you my books. The whole point was just to like, read them. And I did that. You can probably take another item of a dead assassin. Yeah, we'll fine with it. Yep, you still have enough gold for that. Okay. Thank you. So, first of all, I'm gonna collect my stuff. And secondly, I'm gonna get dressed. I don't like being indecent. Look at us being all fancy. I do want, like, a fancy robe eventually. Ah, there we go! Cool. So that's that's how we do it. Now, unfortunately, if I scroll the scroll wheel, I also scroll the chat on Twitch. I want to see if anything like... Does restore magic? It feels like the answer is no, but there's a lot of like restore fatigue. So let's just put those together. I do just want to level alchemy, so even if we fail, that's fine. As long as those two things, you know, match. So both things do restore fatigue. It also means that I'm just gonna be collecting everything that I can. Eventually I'm gonna make myself uber cool. Um, potions. Especially for like magic and... Um, Help, but that it feels like it's far off for now. Probably because it is. 
would be really funny to use um, Drain Fatigue and Restore Fatigue at the same time. It just kind of feels like nothing should happen. Alchemy increased to 16, see? I'm making progress. Um, I think it's you. I can still see it. Um... There we go. Typey, typey, type, 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 type. A riveting content. I'm running out of restore fatigue, I think. Am I completely out of Restore Fatigue? Possibly. Yeah, I think I am. So let's remove that one. Is there any two other things that are the same? Water walking and water breathing are not the same. Okay, you'll do water walking. And this also does water walking, so we can try and do two of water walking. I swear I should have Drain Personality in here somewhere. Yep. Any other Drain Personality? I'm currently just playing the Match 2 game. Would this even work? No. Um, let's just call it Drain. Did I see two? No, I did not see two Drain Hell. Let's just continue combining random drains. Still calling it a drain, because that's what it is. It's just a big drum, drum, dumb drain. That's drain strength. Do I have anything else to drain still? No. Now I just have fortify and restore. I can see in the created effects that will produce anything, I suppose. But I think I'm finally completely running out of materials. So that is as much alchemy as I can do for now. 
Yeah, that's fine. You did a bit of alchemy. And I think we even created some things. I think I can get some alchemy experience from just eating things. <laughs> it has no effect on you, mostly because um I can't I can't be poisoned. Resist to poison entirely. And resist disease, 75%. We're just that, that healthy, yo. Alright, well, we found the cellar. We do need that dude. And probably a bed. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house Kalalu town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Um, South Wall? South Wall is working class corn club in Bulmora, east of Old High River on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacul Aquasius. Okay, he is the owner and proprietor, that's all. You look like you might not faint wearing heavy armor. You might check out the Legion garrison at Fort Moonmoth. They like him big over there, and maybe they're looking for recruits. Good benefits, chance for advancement. Get a piece of land in retirement, maybe even end up a night. Cool. I think I passed the fort. I heard the ordinators burned out a camp of Neverine cult worshippers out by the ghost fence in Foida Ashford Dawn. The names will be so off. <laughs> the temple seems to be going to a lot of trouble to exterminate a bunch of simple Ashlanders. They can't help being ignorant, they're just primitive savages, and nobody takes that Return of Lord Nerevar stuff seriously. Crazy, rag-robed prophets, not much threat there. Hello, Omar! Latest rumors. As Falu must have a spy in Alt Ruin. They always seem to know what the Red Run Council is planning. Cool. I need well a mages guild as well. It's gonna say a bed, but okay. I'm gonna visit the armor because I still have some things to sell. All right, specifically Dark Brotherhood purchase. It won't give me a lot for it, but fair enough. I'll take that. Actually, Mr. Armor Guy, what do you have? Hmm, a lot of meat. I don't know. God damn it. I want the robe. I don't know why. It's just because they look kind of cool. And, um, can't find any right now. <laughs> Mages Guild, I found you. Are you looking for me? You want to join the Mages Guild? Yes, I do. Hmm, yes, you look like the sort we could use in the Mage's Guild. Will you take the Mage's Oath and join the guild? Yes. <laughs> you're now a member of the Mage's Guild. Well, this was easy. Welcome, Associate. When you're ready, you can ask for duties to perform, and once you're ready, you can ask me about advancement in the guild. What kind of spell do you have? Service refusal. What's your rank, Murta? No, sorry, later. Perhaps when you're higher rank, but not now. What about training? No, no training for me. Um, what about duties? I don't have any duties for an associate. Speak with me again when you have proven yourself. Ajira. Okay, Ajira. Okay. It's probably somewhere in here, right? There has to be an Ajira in this building? It's probably not like somewhere else. That would be weird. Now, my question is, do you have any beds and I can use- can I use them freely? I don't have- I don't think I have a level up to do yet. 
I do want my Magicka back, though. Yay! That's enough resting. Um, I am... What rank am I? Not enough. Okay. I already I forgot. I know that they just told me, but I already forgot. A thing, a thing, a thing. Looking for a Jira. Care to tell me what this is about? Yes. Are you a Jira? You're a Jira. What brings you to a Jira's shop? Do you want duties from a Jira? Do you want local brews or help in a fight? Some Talvani bug musk or a way to reach the high places? Training. You know what? I don't have a lot of gold, but teach me some alchemy. This is a great gold sink to just be able to like buy some levels. I don't think that um, alchemy is neither my major nor my minor skill. Um, yeah, that was right. But that's fine. Mysticism is one of my majors, and that's mysticism. And destruction is one of my majors, and that's destruction. That's the okay. So the spells that I like using are my majors. Me stabbing things and shooting at things are my minors, so I'm doing good on there. It's just that alchemy is not part of it, which is fine. It's not gonna grant me level ups. <laughs> Stick of knowledge. <laughs> Learn! <laughs> Learn! Um, duties. I would like to hear about duties. Yes, Ajira has duties for you. Before Ajira can be a journeyman in the Mages Guild, Ajira must study local mushrooms. Mushrooms? To finish Ajira's report, Ajira needs samples of Luminous Rasula, Violet Caprinus, Bungler's Bane, and Haifa Fascia. Ajira knows you can find all these at the Bitter Coast. The easiest way is to go south along the river Odai until you see wooden bridge across the river. Get out of the river there and find a path west over the hills. Oh god, that sounds complicated. Now, the good news is that it recorded into my... Um... Journal? It goes through the town. Okay. So she wants me to bring some mushrooms. Fair enough? I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Ah, oh, shut up! I'm very fortunate. Did you see how big my feet are? And how good I look when I'm sneaking. Oh, and I'm never gonna tire of these animations. Okay, let's find the poor people. We found the bed, we found the mages guild. Let's now find the poor people. Never eat seaweed. South is that way. South wall would be that wall. I don't know which side of the river. Thankfully, um, okay, if you're doing coordinated content in Guild Wars 2, you need to actually know your directions. <laughs> if not for that, I would be entirely unaware as to where things are. Directions are kind of hard for me. Council club? What's the council club? Something? I am looking for someone in particular, actually. I mind my own business. Why don't you mind yours? Because I have to find the person. Okay, I should probably report to a guard that I killed an assassin.
That was the nearest cluster I've already done. Corner Club scout called South Wall. I don't think that this is the Corner Club. Where was I? The council club. That sounds a lot more fancy than I can afford right now. Ah, uh, as if I can buy a council. Oh god. Let's not get stuck in places. That's someone's house. Ah, South Wall Corner Club! Precisely what I was looking for. Hurry this up, will you? I need to find the dude, but I was told to ask about him here. I'm Sortide. Sotilde? Sotilde? The town is Bulmora, council seat of House Halalu, where loyal citizens of the Empire are proud of it. Well, most of us anyway. So you're looking for someone in particular? You're looking for services? Uh, Cassius Crusades. The old sugar tooth. I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacola Clausius, the owner. He'll know. Must be around here somewhere. All right. They're gonna be high up, right? Yep. Every important person climbs upwards. Um, I need to find Cassius Crusades. Cassius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of the town. Get out of the front door, not the upper door to the terrace. The right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, then down to the end of the street. Okay, so the front door below me. So here. Probably the one that we used to enter, right? There was a door in here. There definitely was a door in here. Oh, I found the door. So right up the stairs. And left. We do want to, like... We want... Just the end of the street, so just here. No, that's not right. <laughs> I feel like I have to leave the stairs eventually. Um, I'm gonna get so confused. So that's north. That's an eastern guard tower, so not what we want. Not what we want. Not what we want. <laughs> Nine toes house? Aw, poor person lost the toe and then gained the name. There we go, and he doesn't even lock his front door. That's convenient. Hi, naked man. Um, what? Yes, I'm Cassius Cassades. But what do you mean you were told to report to Cassius Cassades? What are you talking about? I'm an old man with a skooma problem. I have some skooma. So you say your name is Smyrta, and you have been told to report to me to deliver a package. Perhaps you will let me look at it. Yes. Yes, very interesting. So it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Yes. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Myrtha. Are you even part of the blades, my dude? Um, now you belong to the blades, where Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. 
You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our blades trainers right now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away, but don't forget to visit the blades trainers. Where are the blades trainers anyway? The blades agents offer training, not free of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithlin, Termalin, and Ninetoes here in Balmora. And Caldera sees Serain Lurine and Eldon Sil Gildan Siovar House Horsemouth lives in a hut west of Alduin. And alone in, in the scout can be found at Ariel's trade house and Sidonine. Okay. Thank you for that information. What are my orders? First thing, Pilgrim, you're new and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the fighter guilds or mage guilds or imperial cult or imperial legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, looking for freelance work or trouble, then when you're ready, come back, and I'll have orders for you. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Haspat Antabolis at the Bulmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antabolis and report back to me. By the way, Hasfad is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education and I have a few history books here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Morrowind history. Jeanette's its little book is a good place to start. I have a copy here. Take it. You might also look for On Morrowind, the Imperial Province by Eremarine of Sunhold. Hasfat Antabolis. He is drill master of the Bomora Fighters Guild. He lived in Morrowind all his life, knows the na natives and talks a lot with backcountry mercenaries. He thinks of himself as a scholar and he's particularly interested in Dwemer ruins and artifacts. I, I do know about the whole Neverine stuff because he talked to a lot of people coming here. Sixth House. Sixth House, a trusted informant, says there a secret cult associated with some strange events recently and more importantly, my informant thinks that these recent disturbances are related some way with the Nerevarian prophecies. The illiterate Ashlanders put down their customs and history in the form of poetic verses. That doesn't sound very illiterate. Among the things they preserve in verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women, in particular the verses that foretell the coming of the Nerevarine. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm sending you to find out. Ashlanders? I don't know much about Ashlanders. Most people say that they're murderous savages, but most people are idiots. <laughs> I know that they hate their settled Dunmer cousins almost as much as they hate Westerners. They must be tough to live in the Ashlands. I don't think Outlanders can become members of the tribes. I don't know why anyone would want to. Okay, so I'm listening. we have a person to talk with. But more importantly, before that, he was all like, you know, oh, level up with, like, the Mages Guild and blah blah blah. I do actually want to do that. So, the next stream, <laughs> when we come back, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and hunt for mushrooms. Um, I'm just gonna go previous on this. Another previous. Four mushrooms. Swamps of the Bitter Coast, following the river all die south of Balmora until I see a wooden bridge. So, never be south is that way. We came from south, but I have not really seen the wooden 
bridge. Unless it's not in Balmora, is it? Like, fair enough, this is Stone Bridge. It can't be this one. Anyway, <laughs> when we come back, we'll try to locate some mushrooms and level up with the Mages Guild. That seems like a plan. Well, at least to me. So, um... Mushroom explores. <laughs> cool. Um, for now, thank you all for watching. This is quite pleasurable to play, though it's gonna be fairly slow going, at least for a while. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get immersed into an old game. Thank you for being here, and I'm gonna see you the next time when we play some more Morrowind. Do -do -do. And for now, I need to figure out how to switch things up, so... Exiting Morrowind is probably the, the first thing. Come on, give me my mouse back. We can do this. We can do this mouse thing. We can... We know how mice, mice work. There we go, got my mouse back. Yeah, thank you for being here. See you the next time. Doodaloo.